it's Lindsay and welcome back to Blushing Pink Stitches and today we're going to be doing a mid-year whip parade. So it is Sunday the 2nd of July so it's as close as I could get to the middle of the year um, and we're going to be looking at all of the whips that I currently have in my whip pile, uh, where I'm at with them, um, I may talk about goals that I have for them, I may not. Yeah, just to give you a bit of an overview. So if you are a returning viewer, I want to say welcome back. And if you're new here, then I hope you enjoy what you see and you consider sticking around. I know that whip parades often mean that you discover new people. I certainly have been over the last few days. Um, so yeah, welcome. I think I counted that I have 35 whips. So... That's a lot more than I had at this point last year, but not bothered in the slightest. I'm just enjoying myself and yeah, I'm just enjoying myself basically. So um, I'm not anxious about it at all. I know some people would think that that's a huge number, um, but, and then there are other people who think, oh, well, that's like a drop in the ocean. So whatever. Um, I've got a little pile here that I'm going to go through first. I'm not going to go through them in any particular order. Um, I do have uh, my planner here with um, my whip list so I can sort of tell you when I started it and any um, and other details I've written down. So shall we dive in? <laughs> oh dear, what is my hair doing here? Don't know. Anyway, so whip number one. I won't be saying that if it was wrong because I'll have lost count by the time we get to um, whip number 35. Um, is the Animal House by Setsumi Street. And I'm going to put a picture of the finished piece up here because it was a stitch along last year. Um, and so I don't have the finished picture. Um, I obviously haven't finished it. I'm stitching this on a piece of 28 count, like raw natural linen. Um, and I'm using all the cord for, and I've just finished section one. So I think there are six sections to go in this, and I haven't picked this up at all this year. So it's super bright and lovely, and I really like it on this fabric choice. But yeah, I just haven't picked it up, basically. So the finished design is brilliant. I am looking forward to doing a bit more on it. Um, I started that one on the 5th of May last year, so it was, it was part of Mania. It was, a, it was a sort of a Mania start. Okay, this one. Anita, if you're watching, I know in one of your last videos you said, you know, that you wanted to see this one. I haven't stitched on this at all this year. Um, it is... Um, I've got it written down here. Fantasy Dragon by Anne Stokes. And this is in the World of Cross Stitch, Cross Stitching magazine. And this is what it looks like. I will leave um, sort of like details and any links and things to all of these projects down below. So I can't remember the issue number off of the top of my head. So I started this with Anita from the Violet Stitcher. Haven't got very far. This is the piece of 32 count even weave in like a like a light purple lavender colour and I don't even know which way this goes I think it's this way this is where we've got to and I'm sort of parking in this one and I don't like the messiness of parking but because I'm working from a paper pattern I sort of felt the need to but what I might do it instead is try and colour complete by section or something like that. Yeah, I think that might be slightly easier. Anyway, I started this one on the 3rd of September last year. And like I said, I haven't stitched on it at all in 2023. I'm stitching that one for my husband. He loves dragons, he loves anything fantasy reads a lot of fantasy books okay this one was another stitch long you'll see a theme with a lot of my projects 
Um, this is, well, it's a start along really, um, Forever and Ever. It's part of the Songbirds Garden series by Cottage Garden Samplings. And I'm stitching this with Vicky from the Virginia Stitcher. And I think I have worked on this this year. Um, this is a piece of 32 count pearl grey linen, I think. Or even weave, I can't remember. Um, from Zygarde. And I'm using the, um, the Weeks Dye Works threads. So this is how far we are with this. So I think this year I stitched the pink flower. I mean, you look at this and you think, oh, that's not too big a pattern, but it is. So, yeah, that's where we're at with that. It's super lovely. I do like the variegated threads. Yeah, I think what I would say is that the variegation is nice in the middle of the flower, but you don't necessarily need it for like the outside. Um, yeah, so if you're thinking about kitting this out, that might be something to bear in mind. Um, these are all of the threads for it. So you know when people hold these up and they're super neat, mine aren't. Yeah. So that is that. Um, I started that one on at the 1st of June last year. So there we go. Okay, this next one is Hello Sunshine by Caterpillar Cross Stitch. Again, this was a mania start last year, so I started it on the on my birthday last year, the 13th of May. I have worked on it this year. This is what it's going to look like when it's finished. I'm not a million miles away from finishing. So this is just a 14 count white ada that I'm stitching this on. And this is where we are at. So just have just over a quarter of this tree left to do. So there's um, a toucan, a dragonfly and a dragonfly, but the cre creature wise that I need to stitch in then obviously lots more leaves. I love these patterns. I have Hello Pumpkin um, as a kit in my stash. So when I finish this one, I can pick Hello Pumpkin up and I would like to do all of the trees. So yeah, that is that one. I might swap out my one of my full coverages. This is like quite a big bag for that little pattern. Okay, this is a kit that I started this year from Debbie and her Instagram is Debbie's, Debbie Paper Thread and Yarn, something like that. Um, and it's, we're, we're using the hashtag out of hibernation cell. So if you want to join in, um, we, yeah, it's to stitch anything that has a creature that comes out of hibernation after winter. So I, I wanted to stitch this um, Riovis kit called Hedgehogs in Lingonberries. Super lovely. Um, and I'm using all the kit materials. It came with a piece of 14, is it 14 count? It looks like 14 count, yeah. 14 count um, white ada. And it's all of the like wool threads. What does it say? They are, let's say what they are on here. Wool acrylic threads. So yeah. Um, and this, I just worked on this once. I started it mm, turn over the page. Um on the fifth of April this year. So I had the start of the mushroom in the middle. Hold that up behind it so you can see a bit better. There you go. Yeah, and the threads are lovely to work with. I am looking forward to getting back to this. Um, and the cool thing about the patterns for Riolis is that they're coloured patterns. So it's a bit easier to sort of differentiate between um, different symbols and different thread colours. Okay, this next one is 
um, baby boots. It is a kit by Vervico. And I started this one on the 27th of May last year. So again, this is a mania start. This is what the kit looks like. And I'm stitching this one as a birth sampler for my daughter. And I have worked on this one this year. And again, I'm not a million miles away from finishing this one. So using all the kit materials, this is a piece of... Um, I think it's 16 count or 18 count ivory ada i look that up every time i never know anyway this is where we're at so i just have the remainder of this shoe to do and then i need to put her details on it it's so lovely i'm really looking forward to having it up in her room yeah, really, really lovely. So that is that. Okay, um, this is Kids Alphabet Sampler by Eccentric Avenue on Etsy. And I started this on the 14th of January this year. This is what it looks like. Um, and the pattern, it gives you all of the letters, but it doesn't give you a layout for doing it as a full picture. So they do have a picture on their Etsy listing that has them all together in on one piece of fabric, but it doesn't give you that option um, in the pattern. So what I'm doing is just sort of looking at the layout on that picture and then sort of working out how, how much space needs to go in between each letter and things like that. So I have done, this is for my daughter again, for her room. I've done A and B. It's lovely. I really like the pattern. Super colourful. And it look amazing in her room. I just need to get a move on with it. It's um charted in DMC. So... I have like ABC floss shops that I made um, and these are the colours that I've used so far so not a big range but yeah that's that one. I need to remember that because I, I really do need to dedicate some time to, to getting a couple of letters done a month and um, it's just so many projects so many things drawing my attention. Um, okay, this next one is um, Seashell Treasures. It is a gold petite collection um, kit from Dimensions. Um, so this is what it's going to look like when it's finished. It's a kit that I've owned for ages. It was in my stash before I really even had a stash. Um, and again, I'm not a million miles away from finishing this one. So this is where we're at. So I just have this section here to do, which is, so it's this big shell and this little shell down here. And then the remaining backstitching. So I haven't backstitched, oh, there's this shell behind here. I haven't backstitched this star um, because obviously I've got to stitch things around it that are touching it first. But all the background around here, that's all done. So we're actually really close. And look how great this looks. I know that people say that Dimensions kits are a bit of a pain because there is so much backstitching and it's you really have to pay attention to where the backstitching goes. And there are, there are French knots in this and all sorts. You know, look, you know, do two strands of this and four strands of this and whatever. But the result that you get is incredible. It's just so good. So yeah, I would recommend giving one of those a go. And I'm using all of the kit materials. That's a piece of 18 count ivory ada. Okay. Couple more up here, or a few more. This is summer memory jars. It's a pattern by Susan Bates. 
This is in Cross Stitcher magazine, August 2018, but you can also buy this on Susan Bates's Etsy shop. Um, along with, uh, she has a festive jars pattern too. So I was stitching this as part of the nine jars sale that Lauren from Cross Stitch Bunny started last year. Um, and I was supposed to finish it by the end of the year, but I, I didn't make it. So, oh, that needs to go back in there somewhere. So I have worked on this this year, I think. So I started this one on the 2nd of July last year. So this day last year. And this is where we're at. This is a piece of 14 count white Ada. And I've done six out of the nine jars. So we've got um, Sleeping Under the Stars, Balloon Festival, Relaxing in the Garden, A Summer Holiday, A Day at the Beach, Cottage, Clifftop Walk, that is, just stretch it out for you. Yeah, they're so lovely. I love them. Yeah, so the remaining ones are City Nights, Let's Go Fly a Kite and Poppy Field Walk. Okay. There is that one. And that I can switch out that bag because that's in quite a big bag for what it is. Okay, this is another stitch along and um, I'm doing with um, Laurie from Once Upon a Stitch. Um, we're doing the Back to the Flea Market sale. Um, so if you have this pattern, you can join along. Flea Market Flowers by Laurie Holt. Um, I'm doing this on a piece of 32 count white even weave. I think it's even weave. Oh no, it's linen. Um, by Svigart. And I'm using my um, floral floss drops that I have in my Etsy shop. So if you want to go check those out, you can do. And I think I've picked this up this year. Yeah, I started this one in December last year so 3rd of December and this is where we're at so the first time around I stitched this and then this year when I've picked it up I've stitched those two sections and that's the that's the width of the pattern so obviously you've got to go down quite a lot but that's how wide it's going to be so um, yeah love the colours love the pattern so enjoyable to stitch. Okay. Got to make sure everything goes back in the bag because this room is already a mess. I'll just have a little bit of drink. Okay. This is my oldest whip. <sighs> okay, this is... Easter Egg Trio. It's a pattern from Dress Cross Stitch magazine, um, April 2022. And I'm working on this one up here. And I've decided that when I finish that one, I'm not going to be doing the other two. Because I just don't have no desire to pick it up. And so this if I do the other two, it's going to languish in my whips for years. Um, so this is where we've got up to with the first one. I think it's just because it's not really that interesting to stitch. So, yeah, it's a bit of a shame. But this is a 36 count. Um, what is it? The label on here. A fibre on a whim, cream and sugar. Uh, I got a fat quarter of it from Peach Side. And I'm using the cord for, which is um, classic Colourworks threads. So... I th I think I'm getting towards halfway here, so I just need to finish that one up and then that just needs to go out of my works. I have considered abandoning that altogether, but it just seems silly for something that's so small and that's halfway done. I should just finish that off. I, I, mean, I could probably do that in a couple of days, right? Yeah. Um, okay. That's just a sort of casualty of the fact that, you know, 
you test things out, don't you, when you're trying new things and, you know, your tastes evolve over time. And that's just something that I'm not really interested in stitching now. But anyway, we'll get it done eventually. This is another kit. This is a kit by a company called The World in Stitches. They're a UK um, cross-stitch kit maker. And this is Florence the Owl. Isn't she just fabulous? So the kit comes with everything that you need to stitch it and the pattern, needles, the floss and the fabric. And you can also buy the kit with, you can add on a hoop if you would like to. I didn't do that. And then if you message the um, owner of um, the World in Stitches, she will, and ask for a PDF copy of the pattern, she'll send it to you. Um, so, I'm using all of the kit materials. Um, and this is where we're at so far. So started stitching her eyes, just started in the middle. Yeah, really loving the colours. The lovely kit, uh, cat noodle rider that I got from Kelly at Cow Stitches. I won it in the giveaway. So yeah, there's that one. And um, I started Florence the Owl on the 13th of April this year and I didn't say that the Easter egg trio I started on the 1st of March 2022 so yeah that has been around for far too long right let's pause and I'll do another pile on here okay we're getting to some full coverages now um so oh that's cool on there this is birdsong by Alexandra Gallagher. You can buy this as a pattern or a kit on Kaylee's shop, which is the showing the sewing shop.ca and it is amazing. So this is a piece of 25 count blushing pink even weave. She named it after me. <laughs> um I don't know which way's up. Oh I do because I've marked it here. That's a good little tip, like if you're not sure which way is up, to just put a row of cross stitches on the top. And this is where, I, I've only worked on this once this year, so I started it on the 2nd of January, um, and then I haven't worked on it since. So it's so little stitching. I, um, I started in the middle, because it was round, um, so that's like, this sort of flowery thing here, I think. Yeah. There we go. Um, and I recently picked up, um, for these bits here, sort of the bits that crisscross, these lines, um, I was sort of umming and ahhing about what to do for the thread. I've picked up a few things. I don't know what will work. So I've got a couple of DMC, Etoile thread, so this is white and this one's ecru, I think. Yeah, so I was thinking about trying those out. And the other thing I've got is something called D DMC Diamond, uh, which is a metallic embroidery thread. And I bought it in the colour, say what colour, D168, so it's like a silvery, silvery colour. Yeah, so I'm not sure. I quite like the sheen of this one. We'll see. Um, yeah, there's that. Love the colour of this. It's amazing. Okay. And um, on the... And 27th of April this year, I started Moon Hair by Suzanne Geisman, and this is in the World of Cross Stitch uh, Stitching magazine. Um, and again, I'll have the issue number listed in the description box. 
So this is what it's going to look like when it's finished. It's a paper pattern. Um, I'm sort of marking it off on good notes. And again, this is 25 count. I stitch, I think all of the full coverage that I'm going to show you today is stitched on 25 count. And this is the start that I have made. So I'm working all the way across the, it's just a four page pattern. So all the way across um, the pattern, because I don't want page lines. So that's where I've got to so far. Lovely. Different way of stitching. So I normally use Pattern Keeper for full coverages, um, but I couldn't get it to load into Pattern Keeper. So I'm using Good Notes instead and really being methodical about how I stitch that one. Um, this is one of the montage patterns by Janet Stever. So this is Spring Montage, charted by Pain Free Crafts. And 25 count even weave again. I'm using my spring floss drops. So these are available in my Etsy shop. And I only did one day, one like stitching session on this for a couple of days. So this was started on. Oh, um, 26th of March this year, and this is where we're up to. Maybe I did a couple of, actually, I think I worked on this a couple of times. So that's where we're up to. The cherry blossoms are just beautiful. Love them. I love these montage patterns. I've got them all started apart from summer, and the summer one I will start at some point this month. Yeah. Love, love. We find that the pain free crafts patterns, the pages are smaller, um, so it kind of feel, you feel a bit more accomplished. And I think I sort of like the patterns in general are a bit smaller than Haynes. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> uh, this is the autumn montage. So that's what this one looks like. You can also buy these as jamming kits. They look slightly different. Um, if you want to see what they look like, um, Brenda from Homework Mania is stitching the jamming kit. Um, so she is making some changes to it, but yeah, she's she's stitching from the kits. And just I don't know why it's like that. Here we go. This is where we're at with autumn. I always I tend to start top left in my full coverages. Don't always do that. Birdsong, I didn't do it. But um, yeah, that's where we're at with that one. And I was just stitching on these in the season, but now I've put these on my whip wheel so they could just come out at any time, basically. Um, yeah. This next one, oh, autumn uh, montage, I started um, on the 24th of September last year. This next one is Daydreaming by, no it's not, it's Dark Cinderella by Barrett Biggers on Painfree Crafts. And I started this on the 21st of November last year. And I haven't stitched on this at all this year. Really need to pull it back out again. Again, 25 count. That's where we're at so far. The colours are amazing. Love the details. So much going on in, um, in these images. I'm not spending loads of time on these because otherwise I will be here forever. <laughs> oh dear. Um, yeah, so if you've got any questions about anything 
maybe I don't mention something or you just want a bit more clarity, then please ask me in the comments down below. Um, what's this one? This one, it could even class this as a whip. I don't know. This is Animal Alphabet by Mindy Shop 2. And I was planning on stitching these as presents for my daughter's friends for their birthdays. And so you've got the alphabet and I was going to kind of stitch their names. But I mean, I started this and I just haven't gone back to it. Oh God, there's an extra piece of fabric in here as well. I'll have to pull that out. That's terrible. Did I start it on the 25 count? Yeah, I started it on the 25 count. Look at that, there's a piece of 28 count in there. I mean, I might unpick this, and so this is the start of an F. Because I just don't, I don't know if I'm, I don't know whether I'm invested in doing it or have the time. I think I'm gonna go away for this. Yeah, maybe I'll do it another time, maybe I won't. I can repurpose the fabric for something, yeah. Decision made. Put that back in there. We'll keep that out on the desk so I know. I know what I'm doing with that one. Can keep that one separate. Okay. This is another kit. It's called um, Daydreaming by Mareshka. I got this for my birthday last year. Beautiful fox. Absolutely love it. Um, and I'm using all the kit materials. So this comes with... 16 count Ada, I think. Yes, 16 count Ivory Ada. It comes with all the threads that you need. And I have worked on it this year, I think. I started this one on the 16th of July uh, last year. I think I've worked on it this year. So um, this is where we're at. Started top left, sort of worked out how much margin um, I had from the stitch count and the size of the fabric and started top left. There's a lot of half stitch in here. So um, this is up here basically. So I'm just working on this first page. There's some blank spots in here. Some, this bit in the middle isn't stitched. So yeah. There we go. Okay, last one in this little pile is one that I started very recently. It is the Star Hunters by Soda Stitch. Um, and this is one I'm stitching for my first soda style, my first soda style. And that's being hosted by the Tattoo Stitcher by Rogue Mama Stitchery and Burn Stitches. So this is um, a soda stitch I had in my stash. Um, I'm stitching it on a 32 count, oh no, 25 count pink splash even weave by Svargart. Um, I'm using CXC threads and this is where we're up to so far. I love it, absolutely love it. I can see me doing a lot more soda stitch patterns. So this is one stitching session. Loving the CXC threads. It's not my first time in using them, but want to kit up more stuff with them. Amazing. My husband and daughter in the garden. Okay. That one. We'll pause for a second. Okay. Um, this is Winter Montage by Janet Stever. And in my recent update, I had worked on this. So. This is where we're up to with this one so far. 
So I just started in on the berries. That's the bottom of the first page. So lovely, so beautiful. I love the montages. Really, really enjoy stitching on them. That is that one. This is one of my um, like handmade project bags that I got from Etsy. Um, I can't remember the name of the shop, but I'll have it listed in the description box below. Um, this is a winter montage. I didn't say that. Winter montage I started on the 26th of um, December last year. And um, this next one is Snowflake Decorations. Um, it's a pattern from Creative Cross Stitch on Etsy. And I started this one on the 13th of December last year. And it's just the two decorations. I'm not far away from finishing this off. So this is the first one that's all done. And then this is the second one. And I just have these arms to do up here. This will be a very quick finish. Um, this is um, 18 count Snow Sparkle Ada from um, Zweigart. Um, I is just a couple of like off cuts that I had. That's that one. This is one of my own patterns. <laughs> So, again, I recently showed this one. This is Hello Summer by Blushing Pink Stitches. <laughs> um, and I am model stitching this one. But you can find this um, for sale in my Etsy shop now. And I'm stitching this in on, on a piece of 28 count white even weave. And this is where we are up to. So I've done three of the letters. I'm just on my fourth at the moment. So that's how that one's looking. Really love those ones. Got to work on the autumn pattern now. Because uh, you can find the spring pattern in my shop as well. So Hello Spring and Hello Summer are both for sale in my Etsy shop. Okay. Living in this bag from... Ness's craft room on Etsy is um, Feline Force 2. This is artwork by um, Sophie Wilkins and Kaylee from Kaylee Tent Stitch charted this for me. Um, but I got just got personal permission for it, so it's not licensed. This is um, Easy Grid fabric, 25 count Easy Grid. And I started in the middle with this one. Haven't worked on this in a while. Um, Feline Force 2. I started this on the 3rd of October last year. And this is where we're at. So the detail is amazing. Yeah. I think what's, well, what's made me pause um, is because I'm busy with other things but also um because of the there's lots of white stitching to do in those leopards and I'm not particularly looking forward to that white stitching so that sort of paused it for that reason um, okay but we will get back to it Okay, this next one is the Shire painting. Um, it's a pattern by Thread of Magic on Etsy. And I'm stitching this one as part of a stitch long. Is it Home on the Shire Sow? Any sow, um, any sow details is in, are, are, will be in the description box too. So I started this one on the 2nd of April this year and I've worked on it a couple of times it's a couple of separate stitchy sessions and this is where we are at 
getting into a bit more of the blue now. Yeah. The blue behind the tree. There you go. Okay. This is another one of the charts in my Etsy shop. It is one of the full coverage patterns. So I do chart um chart artwork, um licensed artwork. So um I have a number of artists whose work I've licensed um, and this one is Wanderlust by Ritika Aurora. It's amazing. I love it. Um, again, £25. I actually started at the top with this one. So this is where we've got to. The colours are lovely and um, yeah, there's going to be lots of red in this one, but it is amazing, I love it, I love the artwork, I love the way it's stitching up, yeah you can find that one in my Etsy shop, okay, let's do a couple of these, Okay, this one is one that I started recently. It's Christmas Village Afghan by Stony Creek. And I started it on the 12th of June this year. This is what it's gonna look like when it's finished. I'm stitching it two over two on 25 count to kind of get the size that I need. Um, I know two, two threads over two on 25 count isn't the best coverage for some people, but I like it. Um, and I've done the first block what I can of it anyway because I need to get some more threads and I've got some more threads coming in September so this is the first block done as far as I can I'm a bit obsessed with the afghans at the moment so I've got another couple I've got well I've got one more in my stash pattern wise and then I've got another one that I think I might buy soon yeah so you can sort of see the coverage. I think the coverage is absolutely fine. I know some people would maybe do three strands over two on 25 count, but I'm happy. I'm happy with that. So yeah, plan, sort of current plan is to do a block a month on that until it's finished. We will see. This one is Christmas Birds by Our Forest Embroidery. I restarted this last year. So I had it as a whip at the beginning of 2022. And then I, well, I can show you actually. I, I went wrong. I cut the fabric wrong to begin with. Don't, I just don't cut it. So there's not there's not enough of a margin here and then things weren't lining up this is supposed to line up with this and it just wasn't so i abandoned that i got quite far um bought a new piece of fabric which is 32 count summer khaki linen from zweigart it's the called for fabric and i restarted on the 9th of december last year and this is where we've got to I think I've stitched on this in 2023. I'm pretty sure I have. So, yeah, I love it. Love the way the colours pop on that fabric as well. It wouldn't wouldn't necessarily be sort of like a, a, a fabric that I would go for like first time, but I do like it. And um, okay. This next one is another full coverage pattern that I have in my Etsy shop. This is called Little Ocean by an artist called Morgana Fantasy AI. And I have lots of little ones patterns in my shop that you can go and check out. And we're doing a sale. Um, you can join in with the little ones sale um, on Instagram and show your progress. Um, and also I have a Facebook group that you can join too. And all of the details of that will be in the description box. So I'm stitching this one for my daughter. Uh, 
um, and I started this one on the 7th of April this year and this is how far we have got so you can see the leaf from her um, headdress coming in there and this is her hair over here the details are lovely really liking it so yeah can't wait to get back to that one as well um, and I have the licensed floss drops for this one in here so you can buy on my Etsy shop floss drops that are licensed and you can choose the piece of artwork that you would like on your floss drops so obviously I've got Little Ocean on here there are a few exceptions um, of ones that you can't get but only a few um, yeah and you can also order that in floss cards as well so you can have large or small floss cards with the artwork on um, okay. This is Raven by Nora Corbett. I started this one on the 21st of February this year. I'm stitching it on a piece of 32 count linen from Coffee Craft Fabrics with all the cord for. And I've got quite far with this one actually. This is where we're at. There we go. So I showed this in my recent update. I stitched the moon and brought her dress down a bit more. It's so enjoyable to stitch. And I love it on this fabric as well. Stands out so well. So, um, yeah, really enjoying that one. We'll definitely be doing more Nora Corbett and um, more Mirabilia patterns. They are definitely in my future. Okay, what else do we have down here? Okay, this is um, Super Size Max Colour and Santa's Workshop by Thomas Kincaid and artwork by artwork by Thomas Kincaid um, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs and I started this one on the 21st of January this year. This is 25 count again and I'm doing this in a slightly different way. I'm working along the first 10 by 10 block, uh, 10 by 10 row and you can see some detail coming in here or out of the darkness a little bit. So I tend to stitch my full coverages cross country by page. So I will do uh, so the way I pick a thread is to do like the typewriter method that um, Stitching Mummy first um, sort of came up with. So pick a pick the colour that's empty, that's the top left mo top top most left most, and then stitch it stitch within that page and maybe slightly outside the boundary. Um, yeah, that's kind of the way I do it. But this one I've been doing slightly differently just for just to mix it up. Okay, this is in a project bag from Kaylee at the sewing shop. I'm model stitching this for her. I really need to get back to it. This is Fox 6 by Miriam Russo and charted by Kaylee at the sewing shop. Um, and it's a piece of hand dyed even weave that she hand dyed for the kit and the kit comes with all of the threads that you need. And this is where this is where I've got to. So I stitched in some of the fox's face so I could actually see what it was that I was stitching. Yeah, he's lovely. I haven't again I haven't pulled him out for a while just because I've been busy, but also he does require a bit more concentration because of the colour of even weave that he's on. Um, yeah, it's a bit harder for me to see, basically. 
love this project bag. I mean, it's just beautiful. Right, we have three left. Oh, it's not actually too long, this video, which is good. Okay, right. This one is Disney characters. And I started this one on the 24th of June this year. So it is a very recent start. Just take it out of this bag. This one needs a larger project bag. And this is where we got to. So you can see Mickey's ear is coming in here. I showed this in my most recent update. Love it. So that's that one. What is that on there? Bit of dirt, don't know. <laughs> This one needs a new project bag, so I'm having to shove it back in here. Maybe I'll just leave this on here. Put that in a different project bag. Um, okay, this one is Touch of Magic. I'll put a picture on the screen here of what it looks like when it's finished. Because it, it was a mystery stitch along last year. And I started this on the 23rd of May last year. And again, I recently showed this because um, I worked on it again so I stitched part three recently so I've just got two parts left to do using uh, this is um, 14 count grey um, Ada and all the floss um, that came in the kit so I bought it as a kit yeah I was stitching it with my friend Becky but she has long finished it <laughs> last one is my big project that I stitch on every day so don't need that this is super size max color a stitching shelf by Amy Stewart and like I said I stitch on this every day so I do a minimum of a hundred stitches a day and at the moment stitch pal is telling me that I will finish this on the 28th of December 2034 so yeah, it's a, yeah so I did do a monogamous May on this one so if you want to see that vlog you can check that out on my channel it's a couple of videos back um, I'm not going to pull it out of the Q-snap but Oh, where's the pattern gone? I've basically, I'm basically working along this shelf here and I'm just in this section here. And um, so I've done the whole of this and then I'm working across these two pages and then these two pages. Um, so that is where we're at with that one. It's amazing. I love it. The detail is incredible. I just love, love working on it. Look at all this excess material down here. Um, I was stitching it in hand, um, but um, it got quite difficult to hold. So um, yeah, I put it in a key snap. So that's everything. <laughs> Um, so, do we reduce that down to 34? So, you UFO'd something. Um, yeah, 34 whips. Um, and we will have some new starts this year. Um, but I am really enjoying working on my whips. So, I have my whip wheel that I use. Um, and I use it to kind of decide which whip I'm going to work on next. Um, and then throw some new starts in there every now and again. So... Yeah, um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below. If you have any questions or anything, please let me know. 
Um, I'm going to go because I've been at this for 55 minutes. I could have spent a lot longer on it actually, so, but yeah, I thought I'd be here a bit longer than that, but that's okay. I'm going to go and um, parent my daughter a little bit. <laughs> um, I hope you're having a lovely day. Happy stitching and I'll see you soon. Bye.